Hello there guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily start implementing tests in your Golang code. And for that I'm going to create a function that is going to check if a string is in a telegram or not. So what is an telegram? An telegram is a word, phrase or sentence in which no letter of the alphabet occurs more than once. Meaning that we cannot have multiple letters of the alphabet in our, in our word our string, our sentence, whatever. But we are allowed to symbol symbols like iPhones and also spaces and other symbols. I'm going to jump into my terminal. I'm going to create a new folder that I'm going to call my app. And inside of it, I'm going to create a new Golang project. So I'm going to init a module. We'll mod init my app and a main.go file. I'm going to open this in my editor. Okay. And here I'm going to create briefly a package main and the func main. We are not actually going to be using the, the this package. This is just in case I wanted to import my Ethereum function here because the package main can generate an executable. So here I'm going to create an Ethereum package. Ethereum dot go file package Ethereum, and the function is going to be name is Ethereum. So we're going to pass in a string as I said, and we're going to check if it is an Ethereum or not. So we are expecting a boolean, either true or either false. I'm going to say false for now. And now I'm going to create another file and I'm going to name a telegram underscore test dot go. It's going to be of the same package. And here I'm going to add a function named test is a telegram. And I'm going to pass in the a pointer to the testing package uh, of Golang. And I'm going to get the, the struct T. Uh, okay need to import it. And the struct T is basically a struct that um, allow us to have access to functions the, to manage the test state and supported formatted logs, as you can read here. And now here we're going to call is a telegram and we're going to check if for multiple cases if it is true or not. So we're going to pass in an input like total and see Toto here as two times O, so this should return false. So this is what we are going to test. So I'm going to create a variable input. I'm going to pass in Toto input here. Okay. And I'm going to create a variable name expected. So here we are expecting to be false. And now what, what we can do is say if sorry if is a telegram is different than what we expected then we're gonna set this te this test to be to failed. We're gonna say the test is not right, it's failed. And for that uh, we're gonna pass this error f. This is going, set, going to be setting the test to fail and also is going to log a message so we can understand what is going on. So I'm going to pass in our input. So word, give me the input, expected to be, well, expected. I'm going to pass T for the Boolean type. Uh, expected but got but got different than expected passing different than expected okay so now see here if we run this to run the test, you can either use your IDE. Normally, you have a button play here, or maybe, as VS Code say, does a run test like this. But you can also go into your package and just hit the command go test. 
and this is going to test all of your functions inside of your of your test.go file so here you say that it passes it passes because here we are returning false so now to actually test this correctly we need to uh, implement our method easy telegram so uh, for that what we are going to do so we are passing in a string and we are uh, we are going to be looping to each character and see if if the, that character already exists in our string or not so for character range s and here we want to append it to a exists slice for example so we need to create that slice so exists I'm going to make a slice here of type rune I'm using rune uh, because actually the range the range keys keyword returns a rune a rune is basically a superset of the ASCII table you know how your computers underneath it there, there is ASCII codes so the ASCII tables handles a bunch of characters but actually the, the runes handle a lot more so this is a thing that is new to me because I never seen this in other programming language but actually just think of rune as a superset of ASCII table like ASCII table but longer with more characters so the range, the range keyword in Go returns a rune that's why I'm using this so here I want to say uh, if uh, exists contains our character then we return false and else uh, well else we exists is equal to append exists character else we are going to append it to the exist um, slice uh, so now we need to create a helper function named contains so I'm going to create this here so func contains and we're going to pass in a, a slice our slice of runes and our actually character type rune and this is also going to be returning a boolean either false or true okay so here I want to say for the value um, in our slice of runes so for each value inside of our slice of, of runes uh, what did I say? Oh, error. Uh, if the value is equal to our character then we're gonna say yes it does contain so return true and if not return false okay so now we can actually use our function contains so remember if this uh, character then we return false because there is multiple letters else we append the letter to the exist slice and if after our loop uh, there, re there was no existing value we return true existing character sorry we, we return true so now we can start to use our test so here if I run my test again it should return pass okay because total has uh, two times O so here it it went to contains and you return false false now let's test another thing let's instead of a total let's write alpha so see alpha has a a character and a lowercase uh, a character so this is both a so it should return false so let's run our test again here and see these returns fail word alpha expected to be false but got true so here it actually got true here why did it got true because well 
The rune for the A uppercase letter is not the same rune as the lowercase A. So for, for, for our program, this is two different letters. So what we need, we need to do to fix this is say, create a new variable, str for string, and import the strings package, the two lower function, and here passes the string. So here we are receiving the string, we are lower casing all of our values. So alpha now becomes alpha. And then we are range, ranging through it. So we are looping through it here. And now if I run my test again, see now it passes. So uh, now our testing is working, but let's say I want to test also six year old. So C six year old here is is um, is an heterogram, but it got double iPhones. So our program is going to say that the double iPhones, uh, well, are repeated. So it's going to say false. So instead of always changing the input here, we could use uh, this in a better way. So we could write a new file that I'm going to name cases test.go and here in the same package okay and here we can actually create a struct that I'm going to call test cases and I declare it and this struct is going to have a description description type string it's going to have our input And the expected is going to be a boolean. And here now we can add all of our cases. So we can add multiple cases and then we are going loop to loop through it. I'm going to show you. So let's say we have uh, our first our first test case. So it was so the description is actually uh, testing. Uh, repeating letter you can say whatever you want this is for you repeating letter the input is going to be uh, toto so this this was our first case expected false then we had another one we had um, alpha so description testing uppercase letter the input was alpha and expected to be uh, false. Let's say uh, let's let's add to it a an expected true also to see if this worked correctly. So description uh, for example an empty string testing empty string an empty string should return a true. So uh, input going to pass in an empty string and expect it true and finally let's say the six world six year old sorry so description testing double iPhone input six year old and expected to be uh, this is expected to be true so now what we can do is uh, go back to our heterogram test file and instead of using this here we can just range um, to our test cases so this is the is this is in the same package so we can we can we can have access to it so for C, so for case, so this is going to loop through all of our cases that we define here. What is happening here? Oh, I forgot. Okay. So for each case, we are going to do this. But here is not input. Now it's C dot input case dot expected. And here the same thing so case dot put case dot expected 
and different than case that expected. Okay, perfect. So now if we run our tests again, this is going to test all of our multiple cases. So this is a good way of testing multiple cases. Let's run this and see it run all of our tests, but one of them failed. The test that failed was the six year old. Expect to be true, but got false. So here we got false because we didn't check well, actually, we didn't check if we were looping through actual letters and leave the symbols uh, aside. And to fix this, fix this, sorry, we can import the Unicode package and we can uh, use the function is letter. So if it is letter, then go ahead and loop through all of this. If it is letter, well, apply this logic. Uh, if it is letter, we need to pass in the char. So if our character is a letter, then check if contains. If not, just let it be and go to true. And now if we run our tests one final time, see, all of our tests is passed. So this is how you can easily start implementing testing in your Golang, Golang code. I hope you liked this video. Uh, make sure to make sure to to ask me any questions if you have any doubts about what I, I have done. And I hope to see you soon guys and have a very nice day.